All right, so I'm going to make just a short video on how I uh, take my cayenne peppers, dry them out, and then break them into, you know, uh, pepper flakes. Basically, you know, pepper flakes that you'd put on your pizza or pasta or whatever. So these are cayenne peppers. I'm just going to uh, remove the, uh, you know, the stems and then put them in the dehydrator and then just crush them up. So, all right, I'm gonna take all these stems off and then I'll show you uh, what it looks like after and then put them in the dehydrator. All right, started chopping up my peppers, taking off the stems, loading them into my dehydrator. My dehydrator is just real simple. It doesn't have any temperature settings or anything. It's a basket style. Just load the baskets up, add another layer, load the baskets up, add another layer. So that's what I'm doing now. I don't know how much peppers I had. It was a couple, felt like a couple of pounds for sure. Uh, but so I rinsed all these off, chopping off the stems. I'm loading up my basket. And once this is all full, I'll fire it up. But uh, I'll uh, show you that once the uh, everything is loaded. All right, so got all the uh, peppers chopped up, got all my trays loaded. Like I said, this is a real simple dehydrator. You don't have any settings on it or whatever. It's got this pretty cheap on Amazon. And if you didn't have one of these, you could just, you know, put them in the oven. But for this one, you just plug it in and it fires up. Now you will sometimes get some uh, odor off of this you'll smell the peppers uh, that's why I put it on my stove so I could put my vent on if I need to but uh, so I just let this go um, I like to start it at night I'll go to bed wake up tomorrow and it should be ready normally I let these and this thing go for um, 8 to 12 hours something like that so it's like uh, 8 o'clock at night now I'll let it go till tomorrow morning when I get up and then should be done. So we'll see what it looks like in the morning. All right, so it's the next morning. I let this go for right about 11 hours. Um, I'll show you these, these come out nice and dry. So basically once they're dehydrated, you're just going to, you know, break them up into little flakes and that's how you get your uh you know red pepper flakes so what i like to do is i take some of these i take these out and then i put them into a bag and then once they're in the bag it makes it easier just to crush them up so then i just crush them up in my bag you know that way i can mush a whole bunch of them at once and then what I'll do is, you know, put them into a shaker jar. Got this at the dollar store. So yeah, I'll crush these up. I'll get them in the jar and I'll show you. But yeah, so this, uh, these went for 11 hours in the dehydrator. Obviously all dehydrated and brittle. Then you just mush them up. Get them in the jar and you're good to go. So let me mush all these up and get them in the jar and then I'll show you, show you what it looks like. All right, so I finished uh, filling up this jar. I still have a uh, decent amount left in my bag. I may grind this up, put this in my Nutribullet. You grind it into a fine powder and then you've got, you know, cayenne powder. Or I may save this. Um, and uh, I have a couple of friends who enjoy red pepper flakes also. I might just jar it up and give it to them. But I think I had a little over two pounds. But I was able to fill this up. And then have enough left over for almost another jar. But like I said, I get these Dollar Tree. You can see that just, you know, sprinkles right out and uh, works great. And then, like I said, if you wanted to, 
You could just put this in a blender. I have a little Nutribullet I use. Grind it into a fine powder. And then you've got, you know, cayenne powder. So that's the uh, basically the dehydrating process. Super easy. You can use it for almost whatever you want. I like to grow these cayenne peppers just to have red pepper flakes and the cayenne powder. So, yep, that's where, that's all there is to it. And like I said, if you don't have a dehydrator, you can do the same thing in the oven.